What I want to do today is address racism and talk about uh, how the Bible addresses racism. We have a problem in our country, and I believe, obviously, all of us know Jesus is the answer, but I believe the reason we still have this problem today is because of the church. I don't believe the church has taken the stand that the church needs to take. And I want us as a church to take a stand. Now, when I talk about a, a lack of understanding, uh, let me show you a scripture. Hosea 4, 6 says, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Uh, they, they just don't understand. I, I don't think that we have really understood the depth of this problem. And so let me, let me give you an illustration. Um, so here, here's a water bottle. I haven't opened it. It's got water in it. And if, y'all, if you guys could get a close-up of, of that water bottle so everybody can see it on every campus. Okay, so what, I mean, let's see, there we go. All right, so what, what do you see on that? What, what word do you see? Ozarka. Everyone want to see that? Okay, I don't see that. I don't see the, the word Ozarka is not on this side. I see the words born naturally, and then I see some words that are too small to read. Okay, but we're looking at the same bottle, right? Everyone, right? But I'll never see what you see unless I take the time to walk around the bottle and look at it from your perspective. Are you you following me? So we have a, a problem in our country mainly because white people don't understand. It's really true. And we need to take the time to walk around the issue and see what our brothers and sisters are seeing and see what they're feeling. But we'll never know unless we ask. Instead of simply arguing about a protest or a demonstration or something like that, why don't we sit down and say, what do you... What are you hearing? What are you seeing? What do you feel? And not see it as an issue or as history, but as people. 